name's David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon. Look, there's a couple of things I want to talk about today, and um, I've just been in my office watching uh, a lot of YouTube videos about what it takes to build a clientele, and all of a sudden it just it just hit me, you know. Um, there, there's all these videos out there on YouTube that are talking about how to create or how to get new clients or how to attract new clients into your salon. They're, they're talking about the wrong thing, which is really interesting. Let me explain it to you. So people are so concerned about getting new clients in their chair, they're forgetting about the client that they have that's already sitting in their chair. It's so easily forgotten about. The way to build a clientele is really just be good. Be good at what you do and get the client to recommend their friends and family into you. I always believe that 80% of your clientele is built on referrals. I think people have sort of lost the idea of what it takes to build a clientele. You've got to be good at what you do and look after the person that sits in your chair. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> the other thing people are sort of forgetting about... The, well, after watching these videos, I think the other thing people are forgetting about is social media. Let me... I'll tell you what. Look, social media moves so fast that we forget that we've got to stay on top of it. For example, if you're a booth rental and you're a stylist just wanting to improve, um, instead of just posting on a page, create a group. Create a group and then you know all your clients in the group are going to see that message or see your work that you put out there. I created a group and I put all my best clients into a Facebook group. Now whenever I want to get in contact with them, I just go to the group and I know everyone's going to see it. So, for example, if I want to, you know, I can't come in one day or I'm sick or whatever, I created a group for this purpose. Um, I think it's a great idea. I think more people need to do it. But social media moves so fast that if you don't post one day, you're forgotten about the next. It's very important. You've got to stay on top of this. It's just part of our industry now. It's something we've got to think about. Look, and one of the other things that I think is really important to talk about, or I think is important to talk about, a lot of people still use pen and paper to book their appointments. You've got to get with the times move forward everything's electronic now you know i just started using the square app appointment book and it does all the things i need it to do it's something to think about it's time to move on move forward nothing's going to change unless we change the way we look at it um even for myself there's certain things that i need to change but to make that change i've got to change the way i view it so i continually educate myself through YouTube, education, classes, things like that. So it's constantly changing. But it's an important factor, something you need to think about. 